Find a general rule for simplifying an exponent raised to another exponent. Let's start with a simple example, such as a squared raised to the power of 3. What would this be if I wrote it all out? Well, it's a times itself to the third. That would be a times a times a times a times a times a. How many a's in all do we have? Six. Now how do you take the numbers two and three and make six? Well, multiplying them. And that's the rule. a to the m raised to a power of n will be equivalent to a to the m times n. What about raising a fraction to a power? Let's do an example of a over b raised to the power of 3. The meaning of this would be a over b times itself times itself. And by the principles of fraction multiplication, we multiply straight across with the numerators and straight across with the denominators. So how many a's do we have at the end? Three. And how many b's? Also three. So what's the general rule? The general rule is to send the exponent of n to both the top and bottom of the fraction. So a over b to the n will simplify to a to the n over b to the n. What about simplifying something like a to the negative m? Is there a rule for that? Well, if we look at a pattern that we had examined before, and just continue that pattern a little farther, we can see what the general rule should be. We had said that 2 to the 3 was 8. 2 to the 2 is 4. 2 to the 1 is itself. And we also determined that by dividing the 2 by 2, we would get 1 for 2 to the 0. But what if we keep the process going? Then we should divide the 1 by 2, and that would leave us with 1 half. Now we have to divide 1 half by 2 as well, and how do you do that? Well, 1 half divided by 2 is the same as 1 half times 1 over 2 which actually makes 1 over 2 squared. So that would be our result. And what if we did this again? 1 over 2 squared divide by 2 once more. We get this, which is 1 over 2 to the so if you examine the pattern, you may be able to see what's happening here. The base is moving down below, and we're switching the power from a negative to a positive. The same thing happens here. The base goes down below, and we change the exponent from a negative 2 to a now it's a positive 2. And similarly here, 2 to the negative 3 becomes 1 over 2 to the positive 3. So the general rule is actually to move the base, whatever it is, down below and change the sign of the exponent but still keeping the same size of exponent.
So a to the negative m can be simplified to 1 over a to the m. And in math, it's actually preferred to have positive exponents rather than negative. So the result over here on the right side is the simplified version of that expression. Similarly, if we have 1 over a to a negative power, we can actually bring our base up top. So now that it comes out of a denominator position, it's now alone, so it's assumed to be a numerator. And we change the sign of the exponent.